The Samsung S330. Samsung does CPM 1982. High Tech International uses Samsung as the manufacturer for its AT clone, the SAM 3001, 1986. Samsung advertisement for the S286, available through select resellers, 1987. Samsung's small footprint models, the 286 base S500 and the 8088 based S300. 1988, later updated to the S550 and S330, 1989. FCC confirms these dates. So here is what I received. These two shots are the only other pictures of similar units I could find online. I suppose this is what a computer salesman looked like in the late 80s. He was paired with this ad. Some googling turned up some fine print. The S300 was clocked at 8 MHz and the S330 was bumped to 10 MHz. Uh, actually, 9.5. The case had years of stains and unidentified sticky residue hiding in the nooks and crannies. The power supply, inlet grill, and exhaust fan were nearly clogged with dust. Some compressed air and a damp rag, and the power supply looked almost new. Now for a power test. How are the voltages? The negative values are used by serial ports and some video cards. Back in the cleaned up case, ready for a more thorough test. As it had onboard CGA video, I removed the jumper from pins labeled VI. I hope that meant video. I see SI equals serial, FD equals floppy, PI equals parallel, and RT real-time clock. I'll test these later. I also placed jumpers on pins labeled 80 and CM. I hope that's 80 column and color monitor. Power and a keyboard. A few shots from some of my favorite old school diagnostics. The 360K floppy drive cleaned up well and operated correctly. The Seagate 30 megabyte RLL drive had to be low level formatted before it showed signs of working. There was a rough patch about halfway through the reformat which was likely caused by platter damage. This drive should have its heads parked by software before any abrupt movement like shipping especially shipping by way of the Postal Service. So before and after.